the time has come uh, for us to meet our royal report tonight. Yeah. And I would like to first introduce the 2014 reigning king and queen of Mardi Gras in the mountains, Ms. Angie Jones and Mr. Mike King. Years. 
first as director of grants and scholarships for the Atlanta Ronald McDonald House Charities, and then for Ben Child Abuse Pickens uh, and for the last six years at READ. Sandy is the proud mother of three sons, the grandmother of eight grandchildren, and her most happy times are spent with her family, and especially her grandchildren. She also enjoys playing bridge and golf with the dude. It's been an honor to participate, she says, and it's a wonderful fundraiser for Georgia Mountains Hospital. From first-hand experience when my mother was under hospice care, I know the importance of this, the kindness and the love they give to their patients and families. Ladies and gentlemen, Sandy, the Duchess of Alcoa. They're always fun to read the first time. 
Some editing gets done and some doesn't. This one was my favorite. It says, when it comes to Margie Lopez, 72 is just a number. <laughs> sons Michael and Mark and 14 horses in tow. Margie Bress graduated from the West Virginia Wesleyan College where she met her late husband George. They raised their children and are the proud grandparents of five. In 1995, Margie co-founded an organization called Prevent Child Abuse Pickens and implemented the first program. She also brought the Healthy Family Program in 96 to address the high rate of child abuse and blood in Pickens County. Since that time, over 2,000 families have benefited from the services that she helped start here in this community. When Pickens County, or Prevent Child Abuse Pickens Law funding in 2013, Margie worked as a volunteer in order to keep the program as part of our community. Thanks to her tenacity, that program is now thriving again today. Margie's great grant is totaling over $3 million to support programs here at Dickens County. Thanks to Margie's skills at the grant for the Family Connection in 1998, was given to Dickens County and is still a thriving program today. She's been a volunteer on the grant of the certified by Dewey Cheatham and Howell Public Accountants. But an interesting fact, last year, I think Gina shared with me that this fundraiser raised a little over $40,000 for the various charities and for George Mountain's hospitals um, that are put back into our communities. This year, the people sitting on this stage by themselves before the tickets were sold and the auction is closed and the donations are completed, raise $42,000. If anybody's interested, that's $4 76 cents short of $43,000 GMC at the back door. Without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, it is an absolute honor and privilege to introduce the Mardi Gras King and Queen for 2015. Our Queen is Chris Wald. for 2015, Mr. Jack Shore.
first dance. We'll then follow that up with a court and we will open the dance floor.